What? That is so creepy. Are you telling me that's not a possessed character? It's giving horror film. Hey guys, it's Yami, and today I'm going to be checking something out called Basics in Behavior. Now, when you guys were spamming this in my comment section, I had no idea what you were talking about. I thought I was going crazy. Well, it turns out this is a huge video that has blown up on YouTube. I ended up going down a massive YouTube rabbit hole about this thing, and here's what I found out so far. The animation is about a creator's OC characters to one of the Living Tombstone songs. This song was made about Baldi's basics, which I've heard segments from the song, but never the whole thing. So I guess today that changes. The video came out only one month ago, and this thing has over 12 million views, which is crazy. But then again, that doesn't shock me anymore. After we saw what happened to the amazing digital circus, that was crazy. And it ended up getting a huge fandom. And the same thing has happened to this video. There's now an entire fandom and there's so many videos being made, fan out being made, everything. It's crazy, but also I love to see it. I really like it when a community rallies behind something that deserves all of the hype. So we're going to be checking out today if this really does deserve the hype, but I'm pretty sure it does. Katie is the creator. I'm going to link them down below. Do make sure to go and check them out. But then again, you probably already have. It feels like I'm the only one that's been living under a rock because how have I not heard of this before you guys asking me to react to it? Make sure to leave a like on this video if you like fundamental paper education because I've never heard of it before but I'm so excited to check it out. Let's get into it. Basics in Behavior by The Living Tombstone. Animation by Katie. Warning, blood and gore. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was a picture of Alice's door. And this is a classroom. Ooh, I really like the art style. This is very cool. Learning is fun. You know, I'm just pausing this right now because it is giving Paper Mario. I don't know if you've ever seen or played that game, but it's one of the best Mario games out there. And this has such a similar art style. Okay, let's continue. Oh, she was really cute. Basic math is not very easy. Wait, did she have pens on her arms? I need to check that out. Wait a second. What is that called? That's one of the tools that you use in maths. It's called a compass. Really? I can't remember it being called that, but apparently it is. And she literally has one as her arm. What? Oh no! She's getting hit and she's mad about it. Oh my gosh, I'd be scared of that too. That looks sharp. What? Oh, she's chasing them! Yeah, I would be terrified too. Oh no. Wow, she really just took the door off. You have an F. You failed. What? Oh my gosh. I was not expecting that. Consider me shook. What is with the world loving dark animations? And was that the teacher? Why was the teacher doing that? Wow, okay. This really is gory. We love Alice. Oh, I love the animation. I love how the characters move. They all look evil. What? What was that? Was that a pink robot? Look! This character is the only one with colour. And they kind of do look like a rainbow, unicorn, magical robot. I don't know, but I'm here for it. I love them. I think they're my favourite character. Who are they? I need to know more. And also the cat on the left. Adorable. And of course he's wearing the inflatable because cats don't like water. So if they fall in, they don't want to drown. Love that. Oh, look at the fish tank! I 
love how there's a giraffe character here. That is so cute. It seems like there's only a few animal characters scattered here and there in the school. So really interested to see the overall universe of this world and like what's going on there. Is it a mixture between animal-like characters and humans that live together? What's the situation? Ooh, we got some more color here. What? This. That looks scary. I love Alice. My girlfriend. Do not open Alice's room. So I'm gonna guess here that Oliver is in love with Alice because he literally says, I love Alice, has a picture that says my girlfriend, which I'm guessing is Alice. Who is that? It's so mysterious. Uh-oh, you failed. No! Oh, they're getting chased now. I hope they don't get caught. All right, they've hidden in a locker. You know, this does not seem like a very good school to attend. If you fail, you die. Thank goodness real life isn't like that. They yeeted a book at them, but literally just got chopped in half. You can't escape the F. Oh no, watch out. Compass and creature will get you. But I don't know if that's actually just a teacher, to be honest, rather than a creature. Oh dear. Oh wait, what? Oh, they're being protected. Yikes. They just saw all of the other students. Exit. They make it out? What? They're in colour now. But who is that? Oh no, they cut their face. And this is Alice. Oh my gosh. The scene in particular is so funny because she's literally just like yeeting herself out of the door. Oh, look, we have some classroom rules. No running in the classroom. Why are there so many Oreos? Listen to your teacher. Do not breathe in the classroom. What? You'd literally die. Miss Circle is the most beautiful teacher. If you have Oreos, give them to me. Honestly, they would be my classroom rules too. And now they're in the school. Alice's design is really cool. I love the fact that they're wearing a crown. It's kind of like they made it to prom and then turned evil. Has colour come to the school as well? This image here in particular is really interesting because has she summoned tentacles or is she coming out of the ground? Like what is going on there? I would love to hear your theories about that in the comment section down below. Is she some kind of demonic presence? Is she possessed? What? That is so creepy. I would like more backstory on why Alice is like this, why she's trapped at the school, why she has crazy claws, and what she has against fellow students. Look at that. Are you telling me that's not a possessed character? It's giving horror film. To get away. What the heck? The school is so colourful now. Everything's so bright. And it's in a different art style, which is very, very nice. And I've got to say, my favourite character in this so far literally is only featured for a few seconds and it's this one here on the end. It looks like their head is on some kind of wire or coil. They have pencil antlers. I can't really tell if they're like a cow or giraffe. I don't know, but they're pink. They have kawaii cheeks and they're wearing a bow. I think they are the cutest. Also, let me know who your favorite character is down in the comment section. Everyone's terrified. Oh no! So here we see that the exit sign is removed and it actually says Alice's room. So it looks like you're trying to escape, but all you do is unleash Alice. What are you doing? A Miss Circle is really annoyed at the fact that they have removed the sign. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. The ending? Very dark. Also, I want to check out this journal. It says, give me an Oreo. Honestly, same. I love Oreos. Probably one of the best biscuits. Welcome to paper school. I love Alice. 
handsome, my girlfriend, I see you. What the heck's going on here? Oh, they look like an Oreo. So this is Riley. Riley looks really nice. I like Riley. Look at that big smile. So cute. And here we have Miss Circle with the compass. I'm guessing that's their arm. Two add two equals three. No, it doesn't. No wonder they failed. And Zip, is that this character? And also the little cat at the bottom that is so cute. He's drawn himself here and put an arrow towards himself that says handsome in the book at the end. So yeah, I feel like this is his journal. He's in love with Alice. Does he know what happened to Alice? I feel like he definitely does know what happened to her because he's the one that removed the exit sign. Maybe he's befriended Alice. There's so many theories running around my head right now. I'm just so interested. So I was super busy just vibing out to the animation there that I didn't really take in any of the story. So let's do some more research on this because now I'm invested. So to do that, we're going to be checking out this video from a channel called The Legends of Bruh, amazing name. And hopefully this is going to explain more about it in detail and it will answer some questions that I have. At least I'm hoping so. I'll have the link for this video also in the description. Let's watch. It. Let's see what it says. Hello. Are you wondered what the fundamental paper education is? Well, today I'll explain it to you. What it about? The English on this is amazing, by the way. I love that English is probably not their first language, but I can understand everything they're saying. And also, for some reason, it makes it funny. And it also makes it funny because there's a little Roblox man teaching me about this. The original is the animation called Basic in Behavior. Uploaded by Katie. Yes, we know that. It's an animation about school or something in the style of paper in this universe, the series. Animation was published March 1st, 2024. Peers of the animation had created a little fandom. Examples, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. I've never seen this on Twitter or TikTok. The length is 413 and you can see a whole unique range of characters. 26 characters appear in the animation. What? The main character that appears is Claire. Oh, I didn't know that. You came here because you have a question. Yes, I did. Who the heck is Miss Circle? Yeah, I was wondering that to be fair. It is one of the characters that appears in this animation. Some characters are inspired from Baldi's basics education and learning too. Oh, look, there's some art here. I've not seen this before. I love this character with the sock puppets. I think that is so cute and I've not seen that before. Like on any OC designs, I really like that. Oh, wait, the sock puppets are in Baldi's basics. How did I not remember that? So this channel basically says I can't really explain that much because they only have one official video. And the information from this video is from the actual animation. The song used in the video is Basic in Behavior by The Living Tombstone, feat OR30. Now I really want to check out The Living Tombstone video because I'm curious to what the lyrics are. Maybe the lyrics of the song are the foundation for the animation, rather than the beat of the song or the aesthetic of the song. Let's check that out. Oh, here we are. I see it. This has 105 million views. What? I mean, The Living Tombstone was actually one of my Spotify top artists last year, so I'm quite a big fan. <laughs> it was mainly the FNAF song, so. Like I said, I've never actually sat down and watched this one. I'm also wondering if the comments are about the new fundamental paper education. They're not. They're all just... Oh, oh, I see one. I love Alice. There's like some comments about it, but not really. Interesting. All right, let's watch this with captions. I want to know what the song is saying. Got to sweep, sweep, sweep. Oh, I miss Baldi's basics. That was such a good game. Wait, I don't even need captions. It has captions. The internet, the future is great. Yeah, it's literally the same song. Kids. I really like the chorus. Yeah. Oh, Baldi wants to leave. There's a giant lock on the door. Oh, 
Yeah, so this is like completely just based off the game, which of course it is. It's a song about the game. But I wonder why they chose to animate to this song in particular, unless they were just a massive fan of Baldi and also the Living Tombstone. I keep calling it the Living Tomb Song. The Living Tombstone. I don't know why I keep saying that. I've never said that before. <laughs> Yeah, so what I can see, this is very much about Baldies, which I feel like the animation is not. It's its own thing, it's in its own universe. So I feel like looking through these lyrics is not very helpful, apart from the fact it's set in a school, the school wants them to learn, and if they fail, it's bad, real bad, and they get punished. So if we go into Katie's channel, she has 359,000 subscribers with only nine videos. Like this video here has blown their channel up. So this is their first upload. Oh, look at this. I love this art style so much. And at the end, it was real gruesome. That caught me off guard. This is just me being like, ah, oh, this is so cute. And then horrified. So it seems like that art style very much is cute mixed with gory. Surely this one can't be gory. It's got cats in it. Yeah, look at them. Oh, they're cute. Oh my gosh. No mice allowed. So it seemed like they move more into the style later on in their animation journey. Much blood, much gore. And this is the video just before they uploaded Basics and Behaviour. What is this? What? What is going on? I don't know, but I love it. Wow. I love the colours. It's so bright. It's so chaotic. What? Wow. I mean, those eyes, they're staring into my soul. I'm gonna see them in my nightmares. But duckies! <laughs> wow. That video, very intense. The audio is apparently from Machine Girl. And you can see throughout it, they're definitely testing out all of the different animation styles, different character designs, very, very cool. If we go back onto Basics in Behavior and we check out the description of the video, Katie says it took them four months to make. That's a long time to devote to a project, especially when the outcome is only four minutes long. You can tell how detailed this was. I'm very proud of this work even though there are a few errors in the animation. I didn't even notice any errors. I mean, it was pretty much flawless. Okay, character my OC. Ooh, it looks like we get some background on the characters here. Seems like there are a lot of characters. I may not have written all of their names, therefore I will only select the main characters. So this is where the whole fandom comes from because not only has Katie made these really in-depth character designs, but she's given them backstories. She's given them names, she's given them themes. I'm here for it. So we have Claire, the girl with bob hair, who is the main character in the animation. Engel, a boy with fluffy white fur and blue and orange feathers on his head. So this is Claire right here. Oh, this is Engel. Oh, I love the feathers. We have Oliver a long head with an A plus grade written on their head. So this is Oliver here in the middle. I love their ears. And also, do they have a pencil for an arm? We have Zip, a girl with black and white hair. So this is Zip here. I saw them at the end. So half their hair is black, half is white. Miss Circle, a very, 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 very kind math teacher with heart emojis. I don't trust that. We all know who she is. Yes, they're the one with the compass for an arm and they like to get the students. Miss Favel, the language teacher with short hair. So this is the language teacher. At least I think so. They have ABC on their head. Miss Bloomy, a science teacher with a bow in her hair. Oh, here she is. She has the bow. She's giving out the F. She's also very creepy and scary, even though she has a very cute bow. Just goes to show you can't trust people with bows in their hair. We have Abby, the poor student who got an F on the test. This is the poor student. 
We have Lana, a student with gray hair and a ponytail. I'm actually struggling to find her. Why? Yeah, that must be her, because it says she has a ponytail and she definitely does. Wait, I really like this teacher design. I don't know who she is, but she's written on the board, all students are stupid. Honestly, a slay. And we have Alice, a cute girl with short hair, long nails, wearing a princess crown who chases after Claire at the end of the animation. That's Alice? So now I've done a huge deep dive on the animation. I just wanted to show you this on YouTube search. So many people are making their own animations based on it, which I think is so cool. And apparently there's even a Roblox game. Anyway guys, that is where I'm gonna leave this video today. I really hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure that you're subscribed to this channel to get more videos from me. And if you want to see one in the meantime, you can click on one of these and I'll see you over there.